Hi guys, it's 2015 and I just wanted to show you how I write web applications typically um, because it's probably a bit old fashioned way of doing it but I like it because it's simpler in my mind and it's more minimalistic and less lines of code so let me just walk through you uh, an example okay um, hopefully you can see my screen here I have this sort of structure where I store invoices for my customers and in there is some details about the invoice, something like that. And I need to write out um, a, j a piece of uh, JSON when I when I want to mark that invoice as, as paid. So so first and foremost, I usually I always do this. I write a shell script to do what I want to do. I, and this shell script, all it does is take in a few uh, arguments. The first one being when when the when the invoice was paid, what was the second one do? Uh, no, the first one is the ID of the invoice. Second is the when it, uh, the date, and third is the amount, and fourth is some notes. So yeah, I can um, mark this as paid, and uh, it would be, and I would run it like mark as paid, something like that. Uh, what was the next one? Oh yeah, the date. So that was paid. Let's just say it was paid uh, sometime in the future. Doesn't really matter. The mount, say it was three four hundred, and foobar is the notes. So as you can see, I've written out this piece of JSON. Okay, so I I established the fa um, the sort of what I want through the shell script. The next bit. The next bit is that I write um, a piece of HTML. And the piece of HTML, let's see here, kind of looks would look like something like this. So it's exactly the same. Uh, uh, um, it's basically an interface to that shell script. So you have the ID, you have the date, the, the amount, and some notes. And that gets fed to paid.php, which just um, feeds that uh, to the uh, sh the shell script that I earlier wrote, and executes it in those those arguments. So if I could demonstrate this to you, it would be something. This this would be my my interface to when I want to mark an invoice as paid. I have a date I can choose. I, I use it. I can. The cool thing about using a, a web form is that you can use the date picker. I can choose some date in the date picker. Uh, I'm, I'm using the number input type. Let's let's just toggle it down. Foo blah 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 blah. Um, obviously, if I was writing English, I'd get a spell checker as a plus plus one for the for the web form, and then and then I would submit, and I got a permission to that. Okay, I can easily fix that. Uh, Ch mod. Okay, now it's been paid. As you can see there. So yeah, that is that is the way I write uh, page. That's the way I write web applications, and it does seem a bit old-fashioned nowadays. Um, so what my my I write out my HTML by hand. This is twenty-three lines of code. The sort of script to to basically exec the shell script is a uh, ten line or twelve lines of code, and um, of course the shell script in itself is uh, oops is something else. Uh, oh, here we go. Max paid it is a uh, it's fifteen lines of code. So yeah, um, all in all, a certain functionality. To, to mark invoices as paid, what, 50 lines of code or so. Um, it's easy for me to manage it, uh, easy for me, for me to test it. I use the shell scripts if I want to. I use the web interface to make it maybe a little bit quicker. Um, you know, if there's a better way of doing it, please let me know. I do feel a little bit like an old commandant or something. But that's the way I do it, and it works for me for the most part. Um, and I would like to hear what you think.